Today, five rounds, double high pull, double snatch, into a seesaw press. We do this five rounds, rest for a minute and 30 seconds. Now, if you need to rest longer, by all means do so, all right? But again, we're doing five rounds today. So follow along. If you need to take longer rest breaks, don't worry about us, do you. All right, we're gonna start right now. Ready, right, Pete? Here we go. Double high pull. Five. Double snatch. Five. So press five each side. All right, set the timer. A minute and 30 seconds. So you decide what you want to do here. You have to rest. Continue to move, or really, just rest. All right, minute and 30. If you find the beginning, you need to add more time to it. Do it. We're gonna rest. Minute and 30 seconds. We have one minute left. Woo! So the weight you wanna use is going to be the weight you can press overhead with 10 times. You don't want it too heavy, you don't want it too light. So find whatever weight is challenging for those last two reps, that's the way you choose. Now, when you find yourself struggling with the weight that you chose, go a little lighter, all right? And then maybe the next time you do a workout or this workout, per se, and then increase the weight. You got 15 seconds. You're ready for round number two, right there. There you go. Make sure you chalk too. Chalk your hands and the kettlebell. Here we go, round two. is done. And rest. So key is using wrist wraps. Actually has like a nice little plastic shield on the backs of them. Alright, to prevent the bashing of the kettlebell, prevent the losing from the kettlebell, allows her to continue training throughout the week with kettlebells. Now I have a link in the description for that down below in the video. Also, I also train the right way, the technique. So the snatches with cleans, you're gonna get boosted up in the beginning. As you train, as you perfect your form, your technique, you will need those for plenty of time. Put the territory. And make sure to take care of your hands. So, click here when you have time to look at that video talking about different items you can use throughout your training, as well as the aftercare for your hands. Because eventually, the calluses will build up and start to pinch and possibly tear off. So to avoid those things, watch this video. We got 10 seconds left. Going into round three. 
Done. There you go. I am. Got some more rounds left. Got some breath here. section below we'll get more to you especially if you don't have a lot of time to work out don't have access to a lot of equipment you want to get your workout in get in get out kettlebell is the perfect way to set you up allow you to do that get your strength training component from it as well as the cardiovascular point of what we're doing so a lot of workouts you'll see on these videos there's going to be complexes, there's going to be chains. There's going to be chains and complexes. Like today is all a complex. So you go one exercise, complete your reps before you move on to the next one. The chain warrior will do an exercise, one rep of each exercise, and continue that cycle for the amount of reps given. Here we go, round four. So far during this workout, I had the links all below. You click through it, and then just keep following us. Keep you know, subscribe, like this video. If you want to see a different style of video, please comment below. But keep coming back, especially if you need quick workouts. We start today. We're gonna finish off today. All right, 30 seconds here.
job. Good job. Good job, you out there. Keep showing up. Subscribe, like, and see you for our next workout.